you know, this is a disease that kills 20 to 40,000 people every year. So it's a huge burden on society in some of the poorest countries in the world. And consequently, you know, it's important that we try and develop new medicines for those people at the right cost so that it can get to all of those people and treat them. The compound that we have discovered has become a preclinical candidate for visceral leishmaniasis. It's currently undergoing further safety testing. If all goes well, it should enter clinical trials sometime next year. We have this um, preclinical candidate for visceral leishmaniasis. We've got another one on, um, coming through at very much at the same time as well. And we're developing other um, potential drugs for other diseases in the space. And so, yes, we've spent a lot of time working out on how to do drug discovery in these particular disease areas, and we hope that a lot of that work is then going to be translatable into other areas where we can develop drugs. It's not easy to do it, it's not easy to develop drugs in any area, but we are beginning to have a better feel of how to do it in these more neglected infectious diseases.